Sliggity Swag, what's in the bag, Jay here? Hey guys, Christian here. And we are here today to introduce our new side-by-side -side Let's Play of Pokemon Pitch Black and Pure White. But this isn't any normal Let's Play, these will be Egglocks, where you guys can send in the eggs and use them throughout the series. Not sure what an Egglock is? That's okay, because in this video we will explain to you exactly what the rules of an Egglock are. And also show you guys how you can make an egg and send it for us to use in this Let's Play. So let's go over the exact rules for an Egglock. Number 1. Any Pokemon that faints is considered dead and must be either released or boxed forever. You can only capture the first Pokemon you encounter in any given area. Gift Pokemon are an exception. Number 3. Any Pokemon caught or given must be swapped out for an egg. Now here's the step by step instructions for you guys to create an egg to send it in. The link to Pokegen the programs to make the eggs will be provided in the video description. Once you have Pokegen open, let's go ahead and create the egg. So, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to go to options, you're going to go to target game, and you're going to make sure that black and white is checkmarked. Not black and white too, but regular black and white. Now that we can, now we can create the egg. So first off, you're going to want to go ahead and choose the Pokemon you want to put in the egg. Remember, no evolved Pokemon and no legendaries, okay? Remember that, no evolved Pokemon and no legendaries. If we hatch a Pokemon and it is an evolved Pokemon, it will not be counted, it will be scrapped and we will choose another egg. So I always create Elekid when I'm doing these, so I'm going to make an Elekid because I know Elekid by heart. So go ahead and choose the species that you want to create. Make sure you give it a nickname if you want us to nickname the Pokemon. Um, make sure the nickname is 10 characters, okay? So I usually name Elekid Ellie, but for this one I'm going to name it Volt. And then make sure you hit this check mark right here. After that, um, we're going to go ahead and go to experience, keep that at zero, and keep the level at one. As for the nature, you can give the Pokemon a beneficial nature, or you can just give them any nature you want. As for me, I am going to make this and Jolly Elekid because I always look forward to an Electivire at the end. As for the held item, if the Pokemon evolves with an item, make sure you give them that item, okay? Because that way we, we will be able to evolve the Pokemon in the game, okay? So if, say for example, it's a, it's a Flareon that you want to have, make sure you give the Eevee that you send us a Firestone so we'll know that we need to evolve it into a Flareon, all right? Now, as for the happiness, keep the happiness at zero, okay? This, is, this allows us to be able to hatch the egg in one step, all right? This is really, really important because if it takes 10,000 steps to hatch the egg, we're not gonna hatch it. So make sure you keep the happiness at zero. As for the ability, you can give it either its regular ability or its dream world ability. You can go ahead and look this up by going on to Cerebee.com or Bulbapedia or any other Pokemon website that has this information. As for Elekid, because Elekid's hidden ability or its dream world ability is complete garbage, we're going to go ahead and give it static. Um, as for the form, that doesn't matter. As for the country, that doesn't matter either. For the origin, the origin doesn't necessarily matter either, but you can go ahead and choose black or white and then there you go. Um, as for the gender, you can make it male or female. Um, let's make our Elekid male. As for the shine, uh, make sure you click egg right here, okay? Make sure you click this. So click egg, and then as for um, shiny or not, you need our original save file in order to make it shiny, and it's actually very troublesome to make a Pokemon shiny, so we're not actually, we're not actually gonna worry about making it shiny because you're just gonna be sending us the PKM file anyway. We're not gonna be providing a save file until, um, until, the game actually starts and all the eggs are within the save file. So now that we have all of this ready, let's go ahead and hit the place met. Uh, make sure the game is black to white to. The location, you can choose daycare couple if you want. Um, this is just for the sake of making it legal. So let's go ahead and choose daycare. You can choose whatever Pokeball you want. Make sure the level is at one and then the, uh, the as egg should be clicked. And then that's all you need to do for the place met. Now for the stats. Um, for the stats, we're going to make all the IVs 31, so then the Pokemon can have the, the, the maximum amount of stats or maximum amount of um, points in a certain stat. So we're going to make all the IVs 31 because usually I 
do not run hidden power in let's plays I don't I actually never see anyone run hidden power in let's plays so the IVs do not matter you can also randomize the IVs if you want to is it's completely up to you but I usually just do all 31 so um, that's just me let's go ahead and hit up the attacks now for the attacks make sure you give the Pokemon all attack that they learn at level 1 okay guys at level 1 as for Elicate, Elicate learns quick attack and leer at level one but not only that but you can also give them egg moves okay so make sure you give them their level one moves and egg moves or you can give them all egg moves if you want to as long as they can get the move by egg moves then give them that move as for Elekid I like to run Elekid with ice punch so let's go ahead and give it ice punch for another move and then for that that is all you need to do with the egg and now our egg is essentially done we don't have to worry about the OT or trainer because that will change upon hatching um, we don't really need to worry about the PID because the PID is really for legality purposes and we're playing a ROM and it doesn't necessarily matter because it's not like we're porting this to like X and Y or something so the so PID does not matter once you're done with the egg you're gonna go to file and you're gonna go to save Pokemon from tabs and then you're gonna go ahead and you're going to name your egg whatever you named it um, with the nickname so I named it Volt so it should create a .pkm file on your desktop or wherever you save it to and you're gonna take that .pkm file that was just created and you are going to send it to our email okay and just to show you that the egg did work I'm going to drag and drop the egg that we just created into Pokegen and it should show up as an egg there's our egg right here and if we go to view data it already has everything set so that is how you create an egg for this egg lock so that's all you need to do in order to create an egg be sure to send our eggs to the emails provided on screen now also there in the description be sure to send only one egg we hope you all enjoy and we shall see you in the first episode thanks for watching